what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Pat Man back here with another video. Um, first of all, I would like to apologize to y'all for how long I've taken to come back on here. I know I haven't been on here in like three, four months. It's not good, no bueno, no bueno. No wonder why YouTube don't want to pay me yet because I'm not even consistently on here as much as I should be. But I promise y'all I'm gonna stop, especially right now because we're in quarantine. I know you ain't got nothing to do better than to watch my videos. And I ain't got nothing better to do than to make videos for y'all to watch. So together, let's work with each other to um, get through this quarantine. I make you watch and we all win. So um, without further ado, let's get into this video. This video today, as you can see in the title, is a Q&A about my wheelchair. If you don't know, for those of you who don't know, if you're just not tuning in, first of all, subscribe right there. Um, second of all, like this video. Um, third of all, my name is Patrick. I am... Um, on a wheelchair, I don't really want to move around too much and mess up my quality, but yeah, you can see it. But um, yeah, for those who don't know, um, I'm on a wheelchair, and um, I do want to say why and all that stuff, but that's gonna be in a Q and A. So without further ado, let me stop rumbling and get right into the video. Want me to feel like I'm. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram or like Snapchat or any of my um, social media apps, and you already know what it is, um, I ask y'all to ask me questions, and I'm going to answer them on here. And so, being the good people that you are, some of y'all did ask me those questions, and so that's what we're about to do. So, um, got the questions right here. Let's get to it. But first, let me take a sip of water. <laughs> Grab your water too, real quick. I'm gonna give you five seconds. Now nah, I'm gonna give you ten. I'm gonna give you ten seconds to go grab your water. Come back. You better sprint. Ten seconds. Grab your water. Grab your snacks. Run back. And we're getting straight to it. You ready? One. You better be running. Two. You better be going, boy. Three. Speed it up. Speed it up. Four. Get you some wheels too. Five. Six. Seven. Hey, I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna wait. Nine, nine and a half, that's for you to sit down. 10, put your feet up, put your feet up. Let's go. Question number one, do you exercise? And if you do, how? Um. Well, here's a funny story, dude. Um. So for me, basically, just off the fact that I basically have to do everything with my hands is a workout for me. That's why I'm able to stay, you know, fit with my upper body so well not to brag but fail me but yeah um being that i'm doing everything with my hands already is like a workout for me but i do like to you know do extracurricular workouts that you know i can't get just from rolling around you know like work on my abs work on just better strength anything like that um and for that i do little stuff like you know going to the walk i mean going for a roll <laughs> i was about to say going for a walk i'm going for a roll with my siblings or like lifting weights here and there. I have I have like dumbbells and I lift those once in a while doing push ups, you know, sit ups, regular things like that. And that keeps you know, that adds on to the to the fitness that I try to keep up with. But um and I eat a lot of junk food too, so I really have to do some put my my sit ups especially because whew your boy getting a gut. No bueno. Uh, question number two, what happened and what is it like being on a wheelchair? What happened? Um, so basically, if you don't know my story, um, I diagnosed with spina, bi spina bifida, which is, well, it's, it's a long story. So I could tell you, I like I literally know the meaning to it, but if I explain it, it's, we're going to be here all day. So I'm going to just tell you what exactly happened. So um, I was getting surgery in my back, long story short. Had to get surgery on my back. Um, during the process of getting that surgery, a wrong part of my spine was touched and it paralyzed me. And I had to get a whole BB shunt going on. If you don't know what that is, look it up. I'm not here to educate you. I'm here to let you know about myself. Um, look that up. AVP shunt. Um, and it requires to be on your back, your stomach, and your head. So everything was smooth and rocky. Head, stomach, boom, got to the back. My back surgery, that's when, wow, 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 
it went down. Um, yeah, like I said, doctor touched the wrong part of my spine or like worked on the wrong part of my spine or whatever the case was. And um, paralyzed me, dog. Me and him gotta get right. Oh, shit! Um, question number three. Do you help out with chores? Oh my god, I know my siblings see this video, they just gonna laugh at that question. Um, no, nah, but I tried to, like, you know, okay. Let me, let me not lie. Okay. <laughs> you see? <laughs> let me not lie. I don't do as much as I should, okay? I don't do as much as I should, but not, not because of, um, anything that has to do with my disabilities. Just because I'm a lazy, lazy, lazy dude. You feel me? That's, that's the only reason. Really. Just like any other boy. You know, just like any reason for any other boy not to wash the dishes is the same reason for me. I just be chilling, bro. I be chilling way too much. But, um, yeah, I take out my own garbage. I make my own bed, clean my own room, you know, wash my plates after I eat, stuff like that. But I definitely could do way more and I can get working on that. Somebody keep texting me. That's why I keep looking to the side. But anyway, um, yeah, um, chores I do, um, but not as much as I should. Question number four. Do you wish you could walk? Really, nigga? No. Couldn't be better. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, of course. Of course I do. I feel like everybody with a disability or everybody with any kind of condition condition that other people don't have would like to, you know, just not have it for at least for a day and just see how it really is out here in these streets. Question number five. Most challenging moment slash pill to swallow while growing up with your disability. Um, most challenging moment or pill to swallow. Okay, so, like, throughout my whole life, like, I've never been treated differently or anything like that. So, I've never even, like, really, you know, been bothered by my disability until I became, like, you know, going into high school or, like, in high school, you know, about to graduate. That's when things started getting rocky for me because... I wasn't being treated differently. It was just that I was trying to like maturing and starting to see stuff, you know, that I couldn't do, and it was really messing with me. Like I was, I was, you know, also interested in the same stuff as my friends, but I couldn't partake in some of those stuff because of my disability. And that's when, you know, it was like, okay, I had to sit down with myself and be like, okay, Pat, life is gonna be a little different for you, but still gotta keep pushing and be a G. Or <laughs> but yeah that's when that's when um that's when things change that's when everything changed actually so that's probably my biggest pill i had to swallow and it's not even that major just like seeing my friends you know um talk about how they gonna play football or college and i mean yeah football or basketball in college or how they can't wait to drive in high school and all this stuff and you know, seeing how they got to go outside for lunch and it was cool, but you know, I had to freaking stay inside because I was a safety risk because they can't have me outside on the wheelchair all day long. Stuff like that used to mess with me just because, you know, I just wanted to be, you know, that was my first taste of life showing me that, hey man, it's gonna be a little different for you. And I didn't like that at all, man. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Don't do that shit to me. Um, but other than that, I've been cool, man. Being cool. Uh, question number six. By the way, I'm not just guessing these questions. I really have questions. Question number six. When did you become confident enough to be able to joke about your disability? Okay, so. Like I said, I've never been treated. <clears throat> my bad, my bad, y'all. What was we at? Um, My storage ran out, so I had to start over. I'm sorry. Um, And I hate it. I hate when that happens, excuse me. I hate when that happens because I was really into it. And then it just cuts me off. And then I got to be like, damn, I got to do it. Over. But anyway, let's do it again. Question number six. When did you become confident enough to be able to joke about your disability? Um, I've always been confident to joke about my disability simply because of the fact that, um, like I said, I've never been made any, made, made any feel any different when it came to my, my disability um, with my peers and my family members. So... When my family were joking about themselves, they'd also joke about me too. When my friends would be joking about themselves, they'd also be joking about me too. There was never like a, let's joke about each other, but let's not joke about Patrick because we don't want to hurt his feelings and we don't want to, you know, 
maybe they're getting them because yeah he's normal so i've never really been you know sensitive about making jokes i'm sensitive to a lot of things but i'm not sensitive to jokes bro and i'm a big jokester if you know me you know i'm a literal clown i laugh at literally everything i love to laugh and i love to make myself laugh so you know i'm not i'm not always gonna have somebody to make fun of so i gotta make jokes in myself too and i've always been told that you gotta um take what you dish i make a fun i mean i make i make a fun type of english is that i make fun of a lot of people so in return is only like right i be i'm able to take you know jokes about myself too so yeah I love jokes. If you got a good, if you gonna make a joke, just make. My only problem is, please let it be a good one, cause I hate a bad joke. Don't waste my time. But anyway, question number six: Do you ever feel? I mean, number seven: Do you ever feel left out? Um, yeah, I do. With simple stuff though, like, you know, like I brought up earlier, uh, seeing my friends do stuff that I can't do, you know, seeing them drop before me, seeing them get scholarships for football, basketball. Wondering if I would have been good at those things too. Um, seeing them at parties that I can't attend to late at night because, you know, I have no way to get there. You know, I'm not about to wake my family up to take me to a party late at night. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Petty stuff. Nothing serious. Um, how long have you been in a wheelchair? My mother, I have to answer that question because, to be honest with you, or as long as I can remember, I, don't, I can't put like an exact age to it because... I can't remember the age where I wasn't on a wheelchair, so pretty much all my life, you could say. Question number nine, is there a way you get in the shower in your chair or how does that work for you? Okay, so everything in my house is um, built to be accessible for me. I have my own bathroom and in the bathroom, there's a, there's a, like one of those hotel chairs that they be having, you can sit on. Yeah, I do that and hop in there, do my thing, hop back out, keep the Question number 10, can you walk at all? Are you my- You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For yeah, real. I'm just kidding. Um, no, I can't walk at all. I cannot walk at all. Imagine. Um, how do you genuinely feel about your disability? Um, How do I genuinely feel about this, my disability today? Um... It's a journey every day because, like, the more I grow, the more it, you know, teaches me something new. So, like, I'm thankful. We have a love and hate relationship. I'm thankful for the lessons, you know, it, it teaches me and the character it builds in me, like, made me stronger. Basically, um, made me stronger. I am sorry, I don't speak English. Very good. But I am speaking English 50 50. I don't know how to put it into words. Made me stronger, but also made me dislike a lot of things so yeah it's a love-hate relationship but we making it work we making it work that's all that matters question number 12 what was it like learning to use your wheelchair at a very young age it wasn't like anything to be honest with you because when i was little um i used to get everything done for me so i was really difficulty in that i used to get pushed around carried around all that stuff so yeah, until I got older and I got tired of being on people's pace and wanted to thug it out on my own. And now here we are, you know. So yeah, question number 13. I feel like you're really comfortable with yourself as you should be. Was there a point in your life where you would bring yourself down because of your, of your condition and how did you get over that and be the confident person you are today. Um, because, all right, a couple things. Here's one. First of all, yes, um, yes, I've been, I'm human, like I said, I'm only human. I've, I've had the worst of the worst moments where I'm just sitting there and hate everything and just don't even want to get out that bad because it's like, oh, I don't want another day of this. And then there's days where it's like, hey man, come on. We got to keep it pushing. But um, like I said, there's a couple things in life. Um, when when you're in a situation like I'm in or any kind of difficult situation that you can't seem to pull through, just remember this. Um, in life, you only got a few options. You either A, you're either going to let that obstacle weigh on you and 
you know, put the weight that it's going to put on you forever. Let it depress you. Let it eventually kill you. Uh, or you're going to use that as motivation to be, you know, a bigger person that than what that obstacle is trying to do to you. You know what I mean? So I choose to make my condition bigger than what it is, bigger than what people would expect someone like me to be like, you know what I mean? Like, I want to be able to say, hey, um, I'm the first wheelchair person to be a millionaire, do this, do that. Well, I'm pretty sure there's somebody out there in the wheelchair that's a millionaire already, but in my own, I want to be the first person on the wheelchair to break YouTube and, you know, do wonderful things after that and hopefully inspire the next me. You know, I feel like if I could even reach just one person in my situation, I've done my job. So... That's my sole purpose of getting up every day and, you know, keep striving as crappy as it gets. And as much as I just want to stay in that bed all day and I do nothing, I just got to get up, man, because I know that, you know, it's like this for a reason. I might not see it now, but eventually I'm going to see it. And also, you got to remember, um, no matter how crappy your situation seems, it always could be worse. It's somebody always going through worse. It's never just, it's not just you. God doesn't favor and God doesn't, you know, hate anyone. So it's not just you. And it could always be worse. So you just got to remember to be thankful for what you have and what you don't have sometimes. But we're all humans. We're going to, you know, go through ups and downs. And I've had my fair share of that. So I keep a smile on my face and I keep my people around me. <clears throat> my people around me laughing and stuff. But I have my fair share of my down moments too. I just choose not to show it because it's really no point of it, you know. Check it out. Um, yeah. I'm going to end it on that note. So whatever you're going through, I'm going to leave you guys with this. Whatever you're going through, just remember it could always be worse. Be thankful. Live for what you got and what you not what you don't have. You know what I mean? Don't sweat the small stuff. I'm going to see you next time on Batman TV. Please like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, yes, I promise you guys, doing quarantine, I'm going to be consistent. I'm going, I have nothing to do, so you can count on that. I'll be consistent. Um, y'all yeah, really gotta do something about this storage, but, um, yeah. Peace. See you guys next time on Patman TV. Be sure to like and subscribe. Want me to feel like I'm.